Hi, I'm going to do a little studio tour 2022. So this is actually the third studio tour I've done. Why am I doing another one then? Um, show you guys what I've changed in this room and new things that I'm doing. And I want to show you a little bit more downstairs but also for me to see what I've done each year as well you know I did the last one 2021 in about May it's now August it's coming to the end of the school summer holidays gutted so I really wanted to get this one done before I go back to work next week so I'm not actually going to go into too much detail today on equipment as such. If you want to know um, what lights or audio or cameras or microphones I'm using, go and check out Studio Tour 2021. Um, in that respect, not a lot has really changed. I'm still using my Godox uh, light with the big soft box. I've still got my Samsung uh, microphone overhead. I'm still using the Tascam audio interface and my Panasonic camcorder. What has changed in this room a lot though is what it sort of looks like generally. When I did this last year I didn't actually think I'd be able to change that much in this room but I have. Um, behind me here we've now got a radiator cover which acts as a bit of a shelf. Um, you can see these now in all my latest videos. I've now got two rigs there. Below is a barefaced reality 112 guitar cab and that is being powered by a little tiny nano a uh, Hughes and Kettner um, spirit of vintage head amp. It's not the greatest there is a hiss that comes off it but that's something I look at in the future and then my mini bass rig which is another barefaced 110 cab this time being powered by a Gensler 350. Again, I have done videos on those bits of equipment, but it makes it a lot easier for me because suddenly now they're just there. I have got a new Sennheiser, Sennheiser, Sennheiser microphone in the front of it as well. So that has obviously changed. Um, behind, over this side, the laptop has gone. It sort of died. So I got a bit more space. So I think what I need to do next is actually get my little camera out and do a proper tour around the room. So yeah, I've swapped cameras now and I'm quite interested actually to see what the background looks like this. I'll show you a bit more to do with this camera, the DJI Pocket, a little bit later. But this is by far the easiest way for me to show you around the room. So let's have a little look. So there you go. You can see that's what I'm looking at. My camera and my little music stand with my notes and things. So what else has changed in the room this year? There we are. You can see the bare-faced rigs in all their glory. My alien and planet LED lights made it up here. But just above the radiator cover, you can see I've actually put some new ukulele hooks in. Okay. So they are now hanging above there. Ooh, look, my new timber fretless bass. Review on that coming soon. My new bamboo. And then some old favourites, my snail. And then coming over to this side, there's another new hook by there. And as I mentioned a minute ago, the laptop has gone. We've got some new cheapy LED lights installed underneath the cabinets. And in fact, if I just go... Down here is actually lights underneath there now as well, just to show my amps off a little bit better. But the reason why I was quite happy the laptop had gone, I've now suddenly got a lot more room for my sort of worktop bench space when I'm doing any maintenance for ukuleles. Moving around. So this bit of the room is always going to be a mess. It is a music room at the end of the day and with a lot of equipment. And talking of equipment, this is something new. Uh, last year, I got this corner shelf rack because not only do I have a lot of ukuleles in here, I now seem to have a lot of pedals, uh, a lot of sound equipment, a lot of camera equipment. I think that's one of the things when you're making videos, you suddenly get a lot more 
gear. So that all has to be stored. So there's my ukulele cushion that I had for my 50th birthday last year, made by a very dear friend. The Mark Bass stack is still there, ready to go out for gigging. Um, let's just take a quick closer look a minute. So you can see there are some pedals going on. We've got more pedals and a mixer. Right down the bottom, they're all in cases, and my main pedal boards. Earlier this year, I made a couple more ukulele, or miniaturised a couple of ukulele racks. So I've got plenty of room for a few more in there as well. So you can just see my Panasonic camcorder there. Above that is the big soft box, and the actual light is the Godox. SL60 watt and if I come around this way so you can just see below the Panasonic camcorder there's my Tascam uh, DR something or other I'll put it up on the screen which is what I capture my audio on and then transfer everything using SD cards and then the uke wall is of course still there with some new lights behind the bass guitars but I have actually, to get the lights in there, I did have to clear out all the boxes. So it's fairly organised in here now. I'm quite happy with the way it all looks. But more importantly, it's practical as well. And just a quick spin round. Now obviously, with all the filming equipment, it isn't the prettiest looking room. But that just gives you an idea. Okay. So we're downstairs. This is actually my old teaching room when I used to teach a lot of double bass and cello for many years. And I know you've seen this area before. There's my piano. Oh, hang on. My new LED hanger. Watch the video how I installed that. And then few more ukes because obviously I've got another miniature ukulele rack. So they are stored there. My little djembe drum. And obviously I've got to have a little bass uke on hand just in case. Some other little things. Obviously last summer I had my play button for the ukuleleans channel. So I'm very, very pleased with that. And I'm not going to spend a long time doing this. But... This is where I normally sit. There's my light, microphone, camera, double basses, cellos. It is a working music room still. Um, so much music and bits and pieces on there. And then the bit you never, ever, ever see because it is always a bit of a mess. That's a Canon M50 mirrorless camera. And then my Zoom H6 for capturing audio. But there we go. There's my desk. So yeah, this is how you normally see me in this room. Um, I do Rachel's rambles in here. I've done a couple of reviews. It's nice just to sit down and have a bit of a chat. Um, and I do a little bit of work with some of the vlogs in here as well, which is something completely new that I've been doing. I couldn't do vlogs during COVID, a bit difficult. So that's been a massive learning curve to be honest. Um, I've used some slightly different equipment and I'm still very, very much learning doing the vlogs. So what else is new? Vlogs, yes. Rachel rambles, yes. Oh, I use this room for show with your ukes. Send in your pics if you want to be featured. So yeah, for the vlogs, this is the camera that I use. Okay, it's a DJI Pocket too. It's really, really funky because it sort of moves around. There's a little screen on there. Um, I can actually put it into this, which is like a big battery as well. Um, so yeah, if you see me out and about or in the car, this is what I've been using. It really is fantastic. Um, I also mentioned a second ago, let me just switch that off. Um, audio. <clears throat> I've had a few um, issues. It, as I said, it was a steep learning curve. 
places like when we're in Porthcawl or on the beachfront or really outdoors a lot, the wind is really bad on audio. And even though I've got a great big, it's called a dead cat on top of my microphone, it can still be completely ruined with sound and wind. Something really recent I've bought is this. This is a Zoom H6. All right, if I go like that, hopefully you'll be able to see. It's got external microphones built in there, but the way I run it, same way as I run everything upstairs, is I've got my overhead Samson CO2 microphone. Um, also in this room, I should mention as well, I do have a light with a soft box up there. It's cheaper than the Godox and it's really noisy. I can hear the fan now. Whether you'll notice the fan or not, I don't know, but that's something I do want to improve on. So going back to the vlogging for a minute, something else that I've done this year uh, is got one of these. This is my little mini drone. The idea being is if we're doing an outdoor event with ukulele, it just gives a completely different perspective. Um, I'm having great fun, I've got to say. Just to give you an idea, it's tiny. It really is, all right? There's a reason why I wanted to get this very, very small one. I'll explain in a minute, but there we are. This is DJI Mini 2. There we are, in its full glory. It's so diddy. The reason I wanted to get such a small one, um, it's under 240 grams. So that's actually quite important in drone world. I need less... Uh, licenses and regulations and stuff to use this. I have got my flying pilot's license, all right? So I'm all fine to fly this, but I can fly this in places that I can't fly one of the much, much bigger ones, okay? In residential areas and over people and that kind of thing. So there we go. When you see footage now of, I know I've used it in Porth Call, I've used it on some of the Cool Hand Ukes, uh, gigs when we went over to the Ice Stethford, I put it up in the air then. But if you're wondering, it's a DJI Mini 2 and it's brilliant. So as I said, a very, very steep learning curve when it comes to vlogging, especially doing the outdoor stuff and filming in the car as well. I know I need to improve my audio on some of those, try and get rid of the wind factor in places. Um, I have started wearing a little microphone when I'm in the car to try and improve that even more. Um, but again, I noticed the other day when we went up to the uh, Southern Uke store, me and Jude, um, I've only got the one microphone. I am planning on getting a two-piece uh, wireless mic, so that should hopefully improve things. And the idea is that I can be using this new audio, the um, H6 by Zoom, that may well improve some outdoor stuff by putting uh, a dead cat on it as well. All right, I hate saying that, it's horrible, especially as I've got two gorgeous cats. Um, so yeah, there are definitely things I need to improve working on those, but it's been brilliant doing all the outdoor stuff as well. So yeah, I do hope that you're enjoying uh, the videos from this room. Obviously, as I've mentioned, I've got the light up there. I've got my old ring light is behind over that side, just giving a little bit of extra light behind me. I've got another light over there, just giving light in this way. Um, and behind, I've got some more LED lights as well as my new LED hanger. I do love color and I love being able to swap things around a bit as well for the videos. Um, so yeah, my downstairs studio as well. So yeah, in terms of editing, I haven't really changed that much this year. I'm still using Filmora. Love that bit of software. I've looked at others, but for now I'm sticking with Filmora. Um, I've started using a bit more split screen things, especially for comparisons. It's really useful to be able to hear things very quickly side by side. So I think I started doing that when I did a comparison of some bass ukulele strings and I'm using it at the minute now for the solid body electric comparisons as well. Just something different to do and I am always trying to learn new things as well. 
So yes, hopefully now since last year's studio tour, upstairs has changed quite a bit. Um, downstairs has changed a lot and I'm actually using it a lot more now. In terms of equipment, we've got some new lights going on down here. I've got my new Canon M50 mirrorless camera that I use down here, my little vlogging camera and my drone and this new bit, I've only had it a little while, so I'm still getting used to it. Uh, new audio equipment, the uh, H6 by Zoom, and maybe that might improve some of the outdoor things, as well as me being able to use it in here and not carrying the Tascam up and down. So any money that I do earn through the AdSense scheme, you know, there's horrible adverts on YouTube, I am investing straight back into the channel, lights, camera, action vlogging you know what i mean though um so i do hope again that you maybe are seeing a few improvements from last year's video and certainly from the very first studio tour that i did as always though if you've got a comment or a question please feel free leave it below give us a like if you've enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos Thank you for watching.